coffee and he wasn't really trained. But anyway, Jack's been training him all summer on his own. Mm -hmm. But he said the one thing he can't get him to stop doing is when he will retrieve a bird and he does the re he retrieves just fine, but he'll drop it at his feet. He will not deliver to hand. So he was, um, you know, he's cried walking backwards and doing a few other things. Mm -hmm. But he said he just can't break him of the habit. And so I said I would ask you if you had any ideas for him. Please. Well, I would probably have a lot of ideas on that and uh, probably needs his uh, to be taught how to uh, hold that bird as an actual command. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would use something on a very, very passive type of basis. And uh, because we have a couple dogs right here, I'll probably uh, uh, see if one of these would be uh, a willing participant here. So, oh, well, so I Sam, Sam, come on, Sammy. come on, Sammy, come on. Right well, Violet, Violet's right quite good at holding. She's, oh, she's, yeah. she's, um, so, she's so but I don't what, know. I, what I generally would do is, is put this object in the dog's mouth and have them hold it and put their la head right on my uh, knee right here. But I would get him actually in here sitting. So come on in here, Anna girl. Come on in here and sit. Oh, Anna girl, sit right here. And and we actually going to teach him to sit and hold this bird. Mm -hmm. Okay. And look at her teeth. You can see she's all chewed off. All her teeth are I chewed know. off. And she likes rocks, huh? Uh, rock she's, I think it's the frisbees. No, the frisbees, huh? Yeah. And and the command that I use is just to hold or hold it. And if I'm supporting the bottom jaw. Okay, the bird's not going to drop, the head's not going to drop, if the head drops, the bird drops, but I've got the little rest right here with the chair. And uh, I would start yeah. off, okay, by doing something right. like that. Now the dog dropped it, so uh -huh. now we just open the mouth and roll it back in again. Now, and it fits nicely behind those canines. Right, right. So what I'm using, okay, this is just an adwood right here, this little piece of the cherry wood it looks like, or plum, something like that. But what I would uh, generally use is a... Uh, two by uh, two, 14 inches, 14 and a half inches. And you have the length, and what that does is give your hands a little safety room so that when you are doing things and we're getting to aggressively throw this and retrieve it, uh, and it's coming back to hand and we're knocking it around, uh, we have enough room to keep our hands from uh, getting caught between those canines. Right. Uh, what's nice with a two by two, it's square, and you can lock it in behind the teeth there, you can roll it in. Okay, and because it's square, it's going to stay where you put it, all right? Uh -huh. and, uh, and the secret uh, here is the way you start this off with these young dogs is, is just to have them right in your lap here as you're watching TV, okay, and you're just uh, just working them, okay? Now, I have to change positions. I'm going to rechange positions and show you how I would initially start this off. She had this, you know, five years, eight years ago yeah, or whatever it is. Yeah, she's already okay, had so that training, yeah. So she's not job. new. All right, drop it. Good. Now I'm going to change positions and just Sherry, a little Sherry bit. Sherry wants to. Okay. Sherry, why don't you come come over and put the coffees mm -hmm. in? You're good. Sam, come on, Sammy. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. You know, Thank Bio you. might be, right. might be a good right. uh, candidate come for on, this. Right here. Uh, she has been taught right to hold, good. but probably differently oh, from come how on you. Up here. I want your head right here. Right. I don't know. Right here. Good girl. Okay, and I'm going to. See, she's got her she's got oh. her mouth clamped right now, which a lot of right. dogs do. So yeah. I roll my yeah. fingers against those lips, and I roll them against the teeth, uh -huh. and I open that mouth up, and then I can take that and roll it right in. Right. Now, when I come back out, I clear the teeth yes. and the gums, okay, and the lips, so they're not biting. Right. Now, if I want to teach a dog to be easy on the bird, I'm going to leave those lips underneath the teeth against a wooden object while I teach an easy command which also gives me, when I express easy to them, slow that dog down immediately in their tracks before they hit the barbed wire. This is right. where easy command is right. taught also. Easy. So yeah. here, we have the hold. Hold it, good girl. Good girl, hold that bird. And you put them in a trance, you put them to sleep, you put them at ease, but you're watching TV, okay, and you got everything under control, and you start getting this uh, to the point where it's done every day with the dog, and you actually teaching the dog to hold, hold, hold. You have a question? I was going to say, Glenn, that might help her to not make a noise when we go out hunting in the morning. Now, whenever they're holding something, okay, like when I drive my cart around, you saw Toby always holding, holding the bird. Right. That solves a lot of issues. They're not picking up other things from the ground or grass, but also what it does 
it, it uh, signifies to the dog that they are under control, they're working, okay? And conversely, if you have your dog under control and working, you solve a lot of other issues. If a dog is just going to be a dog, they're going to do things that just dogs do, making a lot of noise. But nice. once they're under, under, and they feel they're working, okay? The teeth are really worn off your tooth. Oh, Look at I that. Know. Teeth okay? yeah. I've never seen teeth that far. Uh, so they're getting something that they're chewing on, uh, probably. I, I, yeah. I call that rock do you think, on. Okay. Oh, do you think it, oh, it's Jack. It's Jack. Yeah. This is right. This will be fun. Put him on speakerphone. Hey, Jack. How are you? Good. I'm just going to put you on speakerphone. We're just actually making a video for you, but um, I'm going to put you on speakerphone so you can talk to Glenn as well. Hey, Jack. Right. Jack, meet Glenn. Hey, Jack. How you doing? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I'm at work today, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know if Susan could bring that dog out. She's got to be to work, uh, uh, this afternoon and she works the late shift tonight. But, uh, uh, yeah, probably what, uh, Ann and Bruce told you, the dog is doing really well, but I just can't get him to, uh, drop whatever, you know, a bumper or whatever in my hand. Okay, all right. Yeah, um, oh, what well, well, we're working on right here is, is uh, teaching a dog a hold it, hold it command. So uh, if you had any time this evening, uh, uh, I know you're headed out to do a little elk hunting, I think, uh, but uh, right. I'd be uh, happy to work with you a little bit. Otherwise, uh, uh, you can watch a video and see if that works for you. Okay, now, um, I, I don't get home till 6. But um, uh, there's a, there's certain things that I can I can have him uh, like there's a I, I guess you'd call it a toy it looks like a bone and I can hold that in front of him and tell him to fetch and he'll grab it and I can tell him to hold it and then when I tell him out he'll he'll give it back to me but for some reason when it comes to a bumper he won't do it and it's it's kind of it's really baffling to me because this uh, bone thing that he has he, he does exactly what i want him to do with that but a bumper he won't and, and it doesn't matter whether it's a canvas bumper or one sure. of those plastic bumpers sure well i've got an answer for you and i can probably deal with that and i could probably if uh, if you had it a half an hour 45 minutes to teach you enough to have you deal with it uh so yeah. you know if how, you, long, how long are you going to be there uh, are you going to be over there uh I mean, because uh, I wouldn't be able to get there until after six. No pro. I don't have a problem with that. I don't know if Bruce and uh, no, Andy. no, not at all. We will. Glenn's here till tomorrow morning, so. Yeah, uh, Jack, plan to join us for dinner. Well, uh, we could, we could, you know, I could probably do that. Uh, um, I was going to say I could probably have Susan run the dog out, but she wouldn't be able to to stay there. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I would rather. I would rather see this myself right know, jack not... yeah it's a it's a it would be a, a, to your benefit to see it yeah you know, uh, if i do something with the dog and you don't understand what i've done it's not going to help you okay well why don't i just plan on uh, uh i'll just get there as soon as i can as soon as i get get home from work i'll load him up and head out that way be great sounds excellent oh good jack okay well we'll see you tonight okay well i appreciate that i really do and, and hopefully we can get that solved. I don't know how he would do with a with an actual dead bird. We've actually, you know? Jack. We've actually got a pheasant in the fridge. Yeah. Right. We could we could donate that to to uh, Max Training. Okay. Well, we? I'll I'll see. Uh, I'll I'll come out tonight and we'll just figure it out. Good. Absolutely. We'll see you good. then. Then. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Well, I really appreciate it. You are not a problem. All right. Thank you. Right. Okay, now, so with frozen birds, what I do with the frozen birds, I take the breast, I breast them out, then I wrap the skin back over it and freeze it up. So as we progress through this, we go from that 2 by 2 right into that, uh, you know, uh, the uh, dummies or the, uh, or the frozen birds or the uh, fresh birds. Wherever we have an issue, we're going to end up there and uh, we're going to overtrain and we're going to get to the point where that is cleaned up. But well, we start off with this two by yeah. two to teach the dog. We're not testing the dog here. We're so teaching. So should we have asked Jack to get a couple to get some two by twos? 
Uh, we will get one somewhere today. Okay, when uh, we're out. Yeah, I'm going to get that, okay. and I'll set that up for you. Uh, I'll, you. I'll comment on one other thing. I'm behind the camera, but I don't know if you guys noticed the cottontail rabbit there just ran by. <laughs> um, our pups are uh, also rabbit trained. Mm -hmm. They uh, uh, they'll walk three feet away from a rabbit and mm -hmm. ignore it. Uh, which and the trups, uh, the, the the pups come from Glen's kennels, and they're uh, ultimately they're real fine dogs. Well. She's doing a, a really fine job here with the hold, hold, hold. And this might be the uh, part of the solution to your noise because now the dog is working. Now we grab a gun and the most she can do is oh, 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 do yeah. the growling type of uh, grumble yeah. because she's holding the bird. Yeah. And if she drops the bird, okay, uh -huh. then we'll get all after her for dropping that uh -huh. bird. So Yeah, Glenn's talking yeah. about the uh, the fact that the dogs are, get so excited when we pick up a gun. They've got their collar on. They know the hunt's about to happen. We step out the door and... There's an incredible uh, volume of uh, Mexican, happy dog noise. Mexican so, trill. So what I get now, as soon as I start my four-wheeler, whether I'm doing a garbage run at home or whatever, mm -hmm. if I got a dog in the house or uh, out in the kennel, he does the same exact thing. Yeah. Now, when he gets quiet is when he gets out of the kennel and gets the bird in his mouth. Okay, you've seen that. Now, we take yeah. mile runs or two-mile runs. and The great thing about having that hold, hold, hold is that Whenever you have the dog out of the kennel, okay, and you're working them, you could do something like this, and it, it, this mm -hmm. is something that can be done uh, very passively inside the house in your free time, while you're eating dinner, while you're watching TV, while you're working on a computer. You're just settling the dog down with the hold, 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 hold. And I'll tell you another time that this will be really handy. When Violet comes while you're having your dinner, you're sitting outside and she wants to play Frisbee all the time. Oh, yeah. Okay, or you have guests coming. Okay, um, you have exactly. somebody. You don't want the dogs barking at them. Give yeah. them uh, th their thing to hold. Okay, yeah. now, now uh, I'm going to show you something here too. Okay, you're going to sit here, sit, and you hold. You sit and you hold. hold okay. okay, and you sit and hold. Sam, come here. Come on, Sam. Here you Sam. You sit. There you go. Sit right here. Okay, I'm going to roll it right in and. I'm going to allow her to drop it so I can make a correction. So mm -hmm. I'm expecting the dog to drop it somewhere along the line. So I'll hold it. And as I turn my back, to, uh, turn away a little bit, I get away, remove myself a little bit. She's doing a great job. Okay, and that's great. That's what I need. But now I have them under control. Okay, now we got to There we go. What? What did you do? Huh? Were you a bad dog? What did you do? Here. Here. Now hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now I want a goose dog. But I do this with a hammer, with a, a maul, with all the weight out here. Hold it. Wow. Hold it. Hold it. But as I get away again, I'm going to hear a drop. Now, a lot of times, the hold it command, I'll use a beer can or a Pepsi can. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can hear them crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm -hmm. So you have another right. issue where they're crunching birds. What? I got oh, her. Okay. What? What did you do? Huh? What did you do? Here. Here. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And if it touches something, we don't want it to drop. Oh. We want the dog to continue holding. Okay. Good. That's good. a good girl. Now this was the next layer of es escalation here uh -huh. by making the dog hold it here. So now the dog knows I'm serious. Right. Now when I want the bird, I'm going to touch it and create a neutral pressure. And the dog is taught when I create that neutral pressure to let go of that bird. Good girl, Sam. Hey, 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 hey. All right, fetch him up. Good girl, fetch him up. Fetch him up. Good girl, right here. Good. Now sit. Sit. Good girl. And this is the next layer of escalation. Now, hold. Now, wait a minute. Bio's okay, I'll come over there in a second. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Ah, oh, right. So, oh. What did you do? Right here. Hold. Hold. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Hold it. All right, come here. Watch the elbow. Come Sam. On. Sam. Sam, come here. Good. Sam, come here. Sam, come here. Come on, right through here. Good. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Now sit. 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 Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Sit. Bye, bye, bye. Good. Sit, sit. Sam, 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 Sam. Good Sam, Sam the sham. Sit. 
quick. Okay, drop it. Good. Now lay down. Good. Thank you. Good dog. I gotta take a break.